Poor mom. She's got so much going on. My dad's still in a coma. Star, you know your dad. He likes to make everybody sweat. What did we ever do without you? Thank you. Thank you for not kicking James out last night. James is okay. I will tell him that you approve. Okay. If I can ever get a hold of him. It doesn't matter why I'm here. You're with Star now. Oh, okay. So after you find out I'm with someone else, that's when you decide to have sex on camera with a stranger? No, it has nothing to do with you. Great. Good. So why'd you do it? I made a mistake, okay? It's no big deal. Dina. Dina, are you in trouble? No. Well, do you have enough money to get home? I'll be fine. Look, I talked to the motel manager, and he said if you don't pay up, he's gonna kick you out. So? I'll find somewhere else to go. Like where? Look, I'm not your responsibility, okay? Hold on, I gotta answer this. Star! Hey! Uh, finally, I I've been trying to reach you all day. Where are you? Why don't, why don't we get out of here? Why? This place is perfect. It's a pigsty. You know, from the time I got this picture, I've been trying to call you. But I guess you were much too wrapped up in Echo to answer the phone to your wife. What did you do? You came here right after you left the custody hearing? Oh, God. That must have been why you were late coming. I guess I'm lucky you showed up at all, huh? And that lovely little speech you made to the judge. I will always be there for Ryder. God, I love my wife. And I do love you. Oh, you got a mighty funny way of showing it. When did this start? It was the night of the wedding. The wedding that didn't happen after Clint admitted that Rex was his... I don't know, I took off and somehow I ended up here. I'm in the middle of, uh, of something. I'll, I'll tell you about it later. Is everything okay? It's not your dad, is it? No, he's the same, but Jack has gone off the deep end. Do you need me? Always. But my mom is dealing with it. Jack's in there with her now. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, can I call you later? You better. So, you were about to tell me where you're gonna stay. Don't worry about it. Go see your new girlfriend. I'm sorry, Your Honor. We discovered that a key piece of evidence is not as it appears. Uh, it does not implicate Mr. Buchanan. It was my mistake, Your Honor. Uh, rush to judgment. We've been here before, Commissioner. Your unsubstantiated case against Nathaniel Q. Salinger. So that's twice you've wasted the court's time and the taxpayer's money. Twice you've ruined the reputations of innocent men. You're free to go, Mr. Buchanan, with the court's apologies. As for you, Commissioner, Madam DA, the next time you walk into my courtroom, you'd better make damn certain you have the real killer, or I will go public with this mess, and you'll both be looking for new jobs. Court is adjourned. All rise. Oh, Clint, you're free to go? It's over? I'm free to go. Good. So why'd you drop the charges? You're right. I don't know what it's like to have my private stuff out on the internet. But what I do know is that your life will change. You'll get past it. You're talented. You can draw. You can write stories. You make those amazing comics. All Jack Manning knows how to do is spend his dad's money. 
You just have to hang in there. You'll get through it. Or not. What do you mean? I gotta go. Shane, wait. You have to tell the principal what happened. Or talk to a guidance counselor. I talked to Mr. Summers. He ran that assembly we had the other day about bullying. That'll just make things worse. No, it'll put a stop to it. That's what you want, right? How am I supposed to know where Shane is? Because you posted a very hurtful video. And you gotta make it right, do you hear me? Where is he? I don't know. He was at school. When? Before. Afternoon, dinner, when? Like 10 minutes ago, right before I came here. Did you get that, Gigi? Yeah. Gigi, I am so sorry if there's anything that we can do to... Gigi? You were right. He went back to the school. Okay. School? Well, you know, the building's still open. There's yeah. sports practice or whatever. Let's just get up Let's there. Okay, just but one of these headed back up. Can you wait here? Uh, of course I will. Just please call me when you find him. You are going to find him. I know he's going to be... He's going to be fine. You left the church that afternoon, and you were gone all night and most of the next day. I was so worried about you that I left my heartbroken daughter and two newborn babies at home alone, and I went looking for you most of the night. I went to that bar where you met Dorian. I went to every AA meeting in town, and I went to all the other bars I could think of. I went to the morgue. I was so afraid that you were hurt, or drunk, or dead. But you were here, and it never occurred to me to look for you here, because I never thought you would leave me to sleep with Echo. Vicky. Don't touch me. Oh, God, don't touch me. You stink of Echo. Don't touch me. I'll need that. I think you and your lawyer should uh, celebrate somewhere else. Mom? Dad, what's going on? good that Uncle Clint got off, right? He didn't do it. Matthew? Don't. Don't what? What's going on? I think you know. We're gonna go home and talk about it. Talk about what? Eddie Ford. Seat. Sit down, Boomer. Now, look, I'm not gonna just leave you here with no money and no place to go. I'm, I mean, I'm broke, but Bobby and I have an apartment. And you can stay there until we figure out how to get you home, okay? You don't have to do that. I know. I know. Come on, you can meet the baby and star. It'll all be fine. You sure I won't be in the way? <laughs> well... You're definitely going to be in the way, but I'm not going to take no for an answer. So come on.
Thank you, James. You reach him yet? Yeah, but it was sort of a weird call. He was in the middle of something. So what do you have to say for yourself, Jack? Not much. Jack. Hey, hey! Do not walk away from me! What's that? Nothing. I got it. This is Shane Marasco. You stole this no. from him! Stop lying to me! I'm not lying. He gave it to me after school. Why would he hand you his inhaler, Jack? He has asthma. He needs this to breathe. That's what I said. He said he doesn't need it anymore. Destiny? Hi. Um, have you seen Shane? Yeah, he was just here a minute ago. How was he? I tried to get him to talk to a guidance counselor, but he didn't want to. Okay, where is he now? Oh my god, the roof. 